a suspected drug dealer who police think is connected to the recent overdose crisis in Lane County is out of jail tonight. Now, he was arrested on Friday and released from jail on Monday, and now we are learning what former neighbors have to say about him. And KZI 9 News reporter Madison Glassman joins us live in Springfield with the details. Madison? Matt, Renee, the suspect, J.C. Johnson, was arrested here at this apartment building behind me on 17th Street in Springfield. Now, not too long ago, we saw who we believed to be Johnson walk past us. Neighbors were able to confirm it was him, so we went to his door to try to speak with him, but Johnson did not come out. Earlier today, I spoke with former neighbors of Johnson's. Some described him as a good guy. Others say he's always been bad news. Springfield police think Johnson is tied to more than 30 heroin overdoses in Lane County in less than two weeks. Former neighbors are not surprised. I knew he was into a lot of illegal stuff and we just we just didn't do any dealings with him whatsoever. Others disagree. He was a good person. He was a good dad. He was with his daughter. I mean, he people have their drugs. Too. People do their drugs. They have their um, addictions and stuff, but still through all that, he still was being a good dad. And so this was just like a shocker. Investigators served a search warrant on his home last week. Officials say they found China White, a fentanyl-based drug believed to be involved in some of the overdoses. This is what Jimmy Murray, who says he used to do drugs with Johnson, had to say about the drug. Oh, it's a bad, it's a bad experience. His mom, Kathy, says she kept Jimmy away from Johnson after she says Johnson gave her son crystal meth mixed with heroin and rat poison. She says Jimmy almost lost his life. I thought I was going to lose my son. You know, um, they uh, they wanted us to pull the plug, and I said no. I said my son's gonna come out of this. As for Johnson, Kathy says she hopes to see him pay for what he's accused of. He gets what he deserves. You know, if you're gonna do the yeah, crime, do the time. Now, all those neighbors you just heard from say they haven't heard from or seen Johnson since he left that neighborhood about two years ago. Now, we reached out to the prosecutor's office, and they say it's just too early to press charges. And, of course, we will continue to follow this story and bring you the very latest here on KEZI 9 News. For now, we're live in Springfield. I'm Madison Glassman, KEZI 9 News. Thank you.